Uh, good morning. In the past week, there have been a number of incidents uh, involving outlaw motorcycle gang members. This type of behaviour will not be tolerated, and I want to reassure the community that the full resources of the Queensland Police Service will be committed to stamp out this type of criminality. Community safety is our priority. When we see an incident as occurred yesterday where an incident, innocent member of the public is hurt, these criminals take that activity to a whole new level. Make no mistake, OMCGs committing criminal activity are a threat to our community. The Queensland Police Service will continue to execute its strategies to disrupt and dismantle outlaw motorcycle gangs. We have seen good results in the past and I expect to see those results to continue. The full resources of State Crime Operations Command in partnership with the regions will be utilised to smash this dangerous and reckless behaviour between rival outlaw motorcycle gangs. The commitment of Task Force Hydra and the Queensland Police is ongoing and we have committed further resources to deal with the current escalation of tension between OMCGs and other criminal identities. A task force named Kilo Aquarius has been formed to provide investigators with the necessary resources to investigate, to investigate the current escalation of tension between these OMCG groups. As you would appreciate, some of the operations that we undertake are not visible to the public. However, this does not mean that we are not working around the clock to make the community a safer place. Since the establishment of Task Force Hydra in 2007, we've seen in excess of 1,000 uh, outlaw motorcycle gang members and or their associates charged with over 2,870 offences. Many of these offences include serious criminal activity such as attempted murder, arson, torture, firearm-related offences and drug trafficking. I expect more arrests will follow. Prior to the establishment of Task Force Hydra, the Queensland Police Service has been committed to targeting the activities of organised uh, crime groups within outlaw motorcycle gangs, resulting in arrests for murder, attempted murder, manslaughter and other offences. These criminals have received lengthy jail sentences as a result of that activity. Despite some recent media reporting on excessive use of resources in relation to policing of the OMCG national and poker runs, we have not wavered in our commitment to a zero tolerance approach to the illegal activities of outlaw motorcycle gang members with a priority on safety at the utmost. As law-abiding citizens of our community, we know you expect us to do everything in our power to disrupt and, where possible, prevent illegal activity, including dismantling the illicit activities of the OMCGs. That is exactly what we do day in, day out, and will continue to do so. The police investigation into yesterday's shooting is ongoing. We understand there is a great deal of public interest in this matter. A number of witnesses have come forward who are providing valuable information which is driving the investigation forward. Some of these witnesses wish to remain anonymous. The reasons are obvious. I ask that you respect their privacy and uh, allow us to continue to do the investigation. We are currently interviewing a number of witnesses who are providing us with a good description which I believe will eventuate in a detailed description which we will be able to put out to the media to ask the community for assistance. If anyone has any information that it can assist the investigation, please call Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000.